Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Lee Taka, and it's time for this week's haul video, and everything I got was today. So, uh, I'm wearing my Deadpool reading comics and relaxing shirt, because it's technically free comic book day, even though there's really only one place that sells comics in my town, and I frankly can get the free comics this summer during Blueberry Fest, because they'll still have copies. Um, so, I bought one thing at one sale at the end of the day for the cat, for a quarter, and then I spent $20 on a state sale on figurines and shakers. So the box of figurines I paid $10 for, and there were actually 11 in there. So good deal. And some of the figurines ended up being really good that I didn't know about. Um, and then I got five sets of salt and pepper shakers for $2 a piece. So I'm going to start with, with the kitty's toy that I promise he'll get right after the video. So I paid a whole quarter for this uh, crabby creation. Uh, its mouth opens and closes with Velcro, which I don't know if my cat will like, but I know he loves bells and feathers, so for a quarter, he can let us back in the house. All right. I'm going to start with the salt and pepper shakers. So these are not, you know, I'll be lucky to get my $2 back on these probably because they're just so, uh, they're West Germany Goebel Monk salt and pepper shakers, but I was so impressed that, uh, Friar Tuck here, and he has labeled Friar Tuck, um, and they are a set because one has two holes and one has three, um, but as I said, I have a hard time resisting monks and nuns for some reason, and then if I'm doing other religious things, it's usually a Madonna, so, but, makes sense. Uh, so, so, we're two, and then... These are the ones I'm definitely keeping because this is Cool Willie, as in K-O-O-L, the cigarette penguin. So him and his girlfriend are going into my advertising collection. They are made of plastic, so they're a little cheaper anyway. But, and staying on the advertising theme, would have been cool to find uh, the RCA Victor... Uh, ones where they aren't just the same dog twice. Um, they seem to have the same number of holes too, but I know they were sold in sets like this. And then um, there's also, you know, a uh, another set where it's the dog with the radio, with the Victrola. So, but again, any animal item I sell, part of that sale goes to charity. And then I couldn't, these are Raupo creations made in Japan. They're a yellow bird and a blue bird, like anamorphic things. One has three holes, one has two. But they're very cute and they didn't look chipped or anything. And then the last set of shakers I got were these cute crocodiles or alligators. One is just laying flat. Has like the older cork thing. I don't see any markings on it. Like a little chip on his paw. And this one's head is up. Their eyes are so cute. And no, nope, that feels, if it was a chip, it's really old chip. And there's definitely some crazing. So these are definitely more vintage. All right, the thing that got me to buy the box of 10 was one, this cute little dog playing the tambourines. He is not marked, but I would guess he was Japan. Uh, he's like um, a terrier figurine. Um, and then there were a lot of other random cute things. So there's three of these Artesia... Artifice Otana Decorato Imano made in Italy pig figurines. So we have marked 1990 in the artist's name on the back, but we have these two, you know, one pig's getting over the fence to see the other. Two pigs cuddling, which I assume would be in the mud. And two pigs eating away in the slop bucket. And then there was also a cute little Mary Moo angel in there with a little candle. She looked in good shape. 
And this is May God's Light Shine on Moo, 1998. And then some random duckies with cattails, little detailed on there. It is marked ducklings with reeds, hand painted, handcrafted, fine figurines and sculptures. Emetry artists. So, but some cute little ducklings. And then the non animal thing in here looks like it's, a, well, I guess it still has chicks in it, but it looks like it's just a little girl with flowers in that. And it is marked Original DC Martin Picture Graphica by Dolphy, number 151, I guess. But cute. And then the four figures that are going to make my day. I only, it only came with three boxes and I'm pretty sure the, the one that's the Dickens version of this is not one of these three boxes. Um, but we'll see. It might be because one of these is really tall and may not fit in these four square boxes. Yeah. I don't think this one fits, but the, yep. Okay. So one of these is for the coolest one. All right, so these are my surprise. They are by Nanette Pearson. They are called We Forest Folk. So this one doesn't have its box, but a recent sold on this one. Keep in mind, I, I spent 10 on the whole box and 10 on the salt and pepper shakers. Was $84.99 with the box. Even without the box, that's at least 50 to 60. So, because there's no chips or cracks on it. So that's impressive. Uh, this one sold for 50 and it's just like a log and it's supposed to be a stream because it's titled mountain stream. This one still had its sticker, just a little mouse couple. Then this one I haven't been able to find yet because it's title of course is on there, but a little dressed up for Sunday brunch kind of in church thing of mice. And then the one that might be the most fantastic of them all. Um, is this little Ebenezer Scrooge Dickensville Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, which I was just going to keep, but now I might definitely sell since the Dickensville collection sells anywhere between $50 and $100 a piece. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> and he's just a little mouse in a black cloak being death, but... You know, you got Ebenezer's gravestone there. Anything else while he's listed and waiting to sell, he'll look great in the graveyard section of our village collection. Um, so, but I suppose one of these has to be his box because the other character is way too tall for these boxes. It goes up and over the edge. So, but it was nice that they folded up the three boxes they found with them. They all look the same. They're, they're just marked we forest creatures. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> of course, maybe if he goes sideways, maybe it would work, but I don't think so. No, I'd be a little tight, but if this sells without its box, it should pay for everything I bought today. So as everything I bought today, things will get listed over the next three to four days. I also try every time I list something new, I found to list something on my death pile. Um, but uh, the only thing definitely not getting listed are the cool penguins to go into my advertising collection. So, um, although I might just put them in the Christmas village by the ice rink. I think that might be cute. Um, so down below, you'll have my links for my Etsy and eBay trash to treasure stores. I also do have some things listed in Macari, just not too much. I think I have like 40 items total on there. Um, and for some reason they don't let you just link your whole shop directly. So, um, if you want anything in particular in a video, you can just leave a message below and I'll tell you where it ended up being listed. So otherwise, thanks for watching. Hopefully next week will be even better because we have two neighborhood sales, including the one right near me. So when I have to get up for 8 a.m. start time, I literally only have to wake up 15 minutes before throw on clothes and drive over there. All right. See you next time.